The following video is a blog, rarely entertaining and viewed by most as a giant waste of time. Please watch at your own discretion. Hi, everybody. Cat is insane. I can't catch him. Whatever. Hi everybody, I'm Steve Cash. Welcome once again to my blog channel. I have been extremely inactive online lately. I don't know what happens, it's like every six months or so I just kind of fall out of the daily grind of creativity. It's the work routine. I come home from work thinking, yeah, I'm gonna make a new video, but I wonder what's on Netflix. Or I'll sit down on my computer expecting to get some work done and maybe check my Facebook and before I know it, I'm four hours into StarCraft 2 and it's bedtime. It's a nasty phase. It's happened a few times before, but nobody was paying attention. But at least I'm getting it out of my system so that I can get excited about making videos again. But since the cameras haven't been rolling, I figured I'll give you guys a little verbal update on what's been going on with Sylvester Gibson and Shelby. Shelby, my black lab, has gone into heat again. Um, we never got her fixed. I'm not sure if she should uh, have puppies or maybe that particular bloodline should just end with her. Either way, like all big dogs, as soon as she goes into heat, that also means that she's bleeding from her area. That's not good for the carpet. So I tried it the ghetto way. I took an old pair of my boxers and cut a hole in there for her tail and put it on her with the maxi pad up in there and, and tied it on there and called it good, but she kept tearing it off. So I went to the big pet supply store to get one of those fancy uh, cloth diapers that Velcro around her butt, something she can't take off. Anyway, so I'm walking around this huge pet supply store for like 20 minutes and I couldn't find anything. I couldn't even find anybody who worked there. So I walked up to the front register. There's one lady working the register and about six ladies, uh, two of them with their little poodles on their leashes, you know, a bunch of, of pet loving soccer moms all standing there. And the lady at the register looks over and she sees me standing there with, with nothing in my hands in the line and asks, sir, can we help you find something? I had my whole speech prepared. I knew exactly what I was gonna say. My dog's in heat, she's bleeding from her area, and I need something that can hold a maxi pad in place. Um, but instead of saying that, the words that came out of my mouth were, my dog's bleeding all over the place and I don't know what to do. I actually said that and then left it like that. Their jaws dropped and I was so baffled at my own choice of words that I started laughing at myself, which made it look even worse. Such an idiot. I don't understand why I can't explain things in the right order. These poor ladies assuming the worst. Uh, my dog was hit by a tractor. I drug her into the middle of my living room and then went to the pet supply store looking for help. But anyway, so I pulled myself together. I explained the situation correctly and listened to their sighs of relief as they showed me where to find the doggy diapers. So as I'm walking away with the uh, doggy diaper, which cost me $30 by the way, I come across this. Doogie's original world famous litter quitter. As you on TV. It's a three step program to get your cats to do their business in the toilet. Sounds awesome to me. The idea of not having to deal with litter anymore to me is incredible. See, I've got two cats, uh, one that's infatuated with litter and the other one that just loves his doogies. See, you see, Gibson, he loves litter. He likes to take it from the litter box somehow and spread it all across the house. It's his favorite toy. He puts it everywhere. And then there's Sylvester, who only drops anchor maybe once a day. And somewhere along the line, Sylvester has decided to drop instinct altogether, and he doesn't shovel litter. He just leaves it sitting, taking up a quarter of the litter box. Doesn't even try to cover it up. He just he just leaves it there, stares at it in awe and marvel. So the idea is amazing to me. Um, I'm not gonna have to deal with litter anymore. I'm just gonna come home and wash my toilet. So I get home and I put Shelby's fancy diaper on her and then I let her outside. And then I'm so excited to take this thing and put it on the toilet and then put litter in it. Of course, there's another one that comes before it and it doesn't have this hole in it. And you know what? It was amazing. Immediately, both cats are peeking up at the toilet seat, looking at it, trying to figure out what this thing is. And then they get up there and they're using it. And I was like, this is incredible. So there was a part in there where I got a little too excited. I put Shelby's uh, $30 cloth Velcro washable diaper on and let her outside like an idiot. When I went back out there and I, I pulled it off, it was full of number one and two and it was all over her butt. The idea is to take it off to let her outside and uh, put it back on her when she comes inside and change the pad, that's that's gross. So anyway, we make it about a week and a half into the litter quitter and they're using it, they're, they're, they're doing a great job. And then I move up to the next step, the one with the hole in it, and they're actually going potty in the toilet. In, it's actually going in the toilet. I was so happy! So I waited until they were really comfortable with it and then went ahead and moved up to the next stage. This is where a disaster struck. Almost instantly when we implemented step three, the entire house became fair game. What I mean by that is the carpets, the couch, the countertops, anywhere but here. It's like the Oregon Ducks thing, huh? So I tried to roll it back to step two so that we could get back on course, um, but it was, it was too late. They'd already made up their minds. So the litter box is back. And by the way, makers of the Litter Quitter, I'm not giving your product a bad review. 
I'm giving my cats a bad review. So anyways, that's the update. We're getting everything back on track. Uh, got a little bit of work to do before TK17. My internet band, few and far between, just finished doing the audio version of our next video, which is gonna be an original, re-recorded version of Nowhere, Arizona. I think you guys are gonna love it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.